I think everything is about design. Everything is about intention. Everything is a decision. How we live, how we dress, how we engage in the world. All of it is designed. I've really had the great fortune to interview so many of the world's most creative people. I've been struck by their generosity in opening up and talking about their obstacles or accomplishments or struggles, uh, failures, rejections. I started doing Design Matters quite by accident, as with most important things in my life. I got a call one day from a man who was interested in my hosting a radio show. I thought he was offering me a job as a DJ. And I was like, wow, this is amazing. That wasn't what he was offering. And so on February 5th, 2005, my little radio show was born. And that made it inadvertently one of the world's first and now one of the world's longest running podcasts. Who knew? I do a lot of different things, so it's critical that I am organized, otherwise life would be chaotic. I pretty much use Dropbox for everything, um, everything from my wedding photos to all of my creative projects. I have every single script of every single show I've ever done, so nearly 500. And people thought that it would be an amazing book to publish the best interviews of Design Matters. And I was like, ah, I could do that in a couple of months. Famous last words. I did this entire project through Dropbox. I had design folders, cover options, uh, chapter heads, finished book. I mean, there's hundreds of files. There were so many people working on this project. We were all isolated in separate cities all over the country. It became the repository for the entire book. My goal is to reveal the humanity in being a creative person. I think that anyone that makes something and that creates something and thinks new things is a creative person. I often urge my students to not be afraid of failure because if you're not making enough mistakes, you're not taking enough risks. And if you're not taking enough risks, you're not going to be able to innovate anything new. Milton Glaser says you can look at the world as a place of scarcity, and it will be one. If you look at the world as a place of abundance, it will be one.